Hello and welcome to CG Chameleon channel. In this episode, we are going to learn how to connect Maya, a script editor with an external IDE. If you are here, I assume you know the benefits of using an external one, so let's jump in how to do it. So first, we need to download three software. We need Visual Studio Code, we need Python, and we need another one, which is uh, Maya Dev Kit. I will talk about that later. So now just download the Visual Code Studio. Double click install it, just next, next, next. It's an easy one. For Python, we need to make sure that you check add Python to path. Just next and wait for it. Okay. After the, the installation is finished, just click close. Now we need to check if Python is properly installed and it's working without any issues. We open the command and we tap Python dash version and we see it's working properly. Now we, we check if Python is, is working. So print hello world. Here, if you are facing any problem when you enter Python and this error appears, in order to fix it quickly, you just go here, follow the path, just uh, environment variables, and you need to add the Python path here in the system or above in user variable, okay? You just click edit and you add the path. You can copy my path here if, if you are facing any problem. If not, just go next. Here we are going to integrate Python with Visual Code. Just go to extensions and search for Python. The first one, which includes 22 million downloads. So just hit install and wait for it to finish the installation. After the installation is finished, you need to reboot Visual Code Studio. So we close it and we reopen it again. So we need to do a quick uh, checkup. So here we see we create an empty file. We save it, Control S, and we need to save it .py, .python. Here we enter a simple code, print hello world, and we click execute. And we wait for it. This is the first time that we are, we are executing the code. So it takes, it takes uh, seconds to show up. So just ignore the errors here. And you can, you can see, it's there if we do it again it's going to be quick this time okay now we we connect visual code studio with maya so we need to download two things we need to download maya code okay from Saviof. we just install it and also we need to download another one which is mel Mal embedded. So from Sator Imaging. We just need to wait until the installation is finished. Uh, now we check, we just delete, we see the three main extensions that we need. Here we go to Maya code and drag down, scroll down. We need a piece of code to copy here. So we copy this piece of code, we go back to Maya. So we go to Window, General Editor, Script Editor. Make sure to pass the code in Mel tab, not Python, to open a virtual port between Maya and Visual Code Studio. Execute the code. If you execute it a second time, we see it says that it's already active. Okay. Now we go back to Visual Code Studio and try anything. If you try to 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 execute this code. If we execute, this code is going to be executed here, but we need to send it to Maya. So right click and click send Python code to Maya. You can see the result there. It says hello world. If hello world from Visual Code Studio, it says so. So we need to do anything. For example, commands.polysphere. You can see here that a polysphere appeared in Maya. Hey, if we try the auto completion, I'm clicking control plus space bar, but nothing appears. So we need to set up the auto completion. We go to Maya dev kit and we download, we scroll down, we download the dev kit to, to the proper Maya version. 
for me it's 2020 uh, last version okay here how to check your my version okay that's easy now we need to extract the downloaded file in uh, some place for me personally I prefer to put it where it should be because in the previous versions it was there before it was removed from Maya so just uh, go to dev kit base we need the dev kit not everything we just double click the dev kit and copy paste everything to the path we need to memorize the path in order to link it from visual code studio okay make sure if you have chosen different paths to know it go to preferences settings search for json click on json json edit settings in json and copy the path make sure you have included your path if you copied mine you can take this code okay now we check commands and we click control play space bar as you can see here so to wrap up this tutorial uh, now we have gained also without doing anything just from setting the dev kit uh, the auto completion for PySci2 if we say now from PySci2 import anything a QT GUI for example you can see now we can do a, we can do anything from Maya of course uh, import for example import uh, open Maya you can see open Maya open Maya UI you can uh, the auto completion works for almost uh, anything you need to to develop your application inside Maya thank you for watching and good luck